Welcome to the Brilliant Black Man Show, created to bring to light the success stories of black men all around the world. It is the mission and goal of Melissa Johnson to share these incredible, talented, and successful men with viewers across the country. Wake up, America, and listen to the interviews of these strong black men who are making a difference in their family, community, boardroom, and the world. They are building empires and leaving a legacy. Their life story and success matters, and it's Melissa's goal to change the narrative of how the black man is portrayed in the media, streets, home, workplace, and beyond. Join Melissa on a journey to bring awareness to the brilliance of the black man on the Transformation Network. Follow the interviews as these men speak on the importance of entrepreneurship, education, financial literacy, legacy building, and building black businesses within their communities. Now, here is your host. Hello there, Marlon. Yes, how you doing, Ms. Johnson? I'm fine. This is Marlon Reed from Marlon Reed Production, the author of The Diary of a Changed Man, his autobiography. He's on set filming today. How do you feel about all of this? Man, I'm, I'm so excited, Ms. Johnson. This, this is like a blessing, a, a dream come true, just to be able to really show God's glory through my story is, is, is the objective to, you know, that's the um, message that we're trying to bring through this film. Yeah, so. wow. What a great message. I read some of your book. I couldn't get through the whole book, Thank but you. I read a lot of that book. And the first thing I could say was, wow, I just Thank could you. not believe it. You never know a person's journey and how they got here. And so, um, I was truly amazed because I'm on the other side, so I see where you're yes, at now. Yes. Yeah. But from, for you to come from that place and to be where you're at now is a blessing from the Lord. And it shows Amen. His power in our lives. Amen. You know, yes, that He has purpose, He has destiny for us regardless of how we're born, regardless of our parents, regardless of what we may deemed to be mistakes. Yes. God can turn all of that around. When he say all things work together for our good, mm -hmm. there's a message in yes, that. It yes, and indeed. it has definitely worked together for your good. Yes. And I'm a living witness today to to see this changed man. Thank Here he you. is, yes. the changed the man. Of a yes, changed man. man. Yes. And so I love redemption stories. Amen. I really love um, how someone can go on a journey of transformation because I know transformation is not easy. Not at all. It's it's hard work to be transformed yes. into the person that God would have you to be. But yes. look at you now yes. and so your testimony to other people that are on this journey, you do not have to stay where you're at. Not you can at be also changed by the power of God. You have to yes. want it. You Amen. have to desire. You have to go and get it. Amen. And you too can have this transformed life. It's just changing That's from it. where you're at to where God I want you to That's be. It. It's just a change in direction. So um, yes. I'm just encouraged on today. So excited to um, share your story. Thank this you. is not the interview. <laughs> we're just giving you a little taste of what the interview will be like. Um, we're going to interview hopefully a couple of hours from now. Yes. We're on set. So I'm just watching them um, film his movie. So what do you think about the film while I have oh. you here? What do you think about oh, the man. film? It's, it's coming along so great that, mm -hmm. you know, all the great actors. Um, I was blessed to be able to have on my first time uh, doing a film and doing my story to have so many super actors like Trey Chaney and uh, Kim, Miss Kimmy uh, Workman, you know, and Antoine Jones and Barry uh, Austin. Uh, these are some great actors that already had uh, films out. So to be able to be blessed through their talent, the actors and actresses, I'm excited, you know, just you know, started this in 2014 when I used to go out on the streets in Philly mm -hmm. speaking around, you know, the city on violence and, you know, spreading the gospel of Christ. And um, I used to always get asked about a book. So it started in 2014 with the, just the thought. And then here we is, 2017, the book came out, The Diary of a Changed Man. And here it is, 2022. We, we, we filming the, the, the film, the short film, which is a two-part film. Wow. And, uh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed, Miss Johnson. Wow. God is, wow. God is, God, when, when we say God is amazing, uh, 
you know, you're looking at me, you're looking at Ms. Johnson and everybody else that God touched and blessed. You know, it's it's real. It's yeah. real. The, the power of prayer, you know, the belief system, you know, ministry is real. Please it's believe real. that. Yeah. Thank you. And it's just so many stories that I can get from your story, if I can say it that way. Mm -hmm. So many practical applications, I'll say it that way, that you can take away from your story. Yeah. And um, the one that I like to take away is, again, the redemption part. Yeah. I think about how you were born. I think mm -hmm. about... Mm. I mean, I just, when I read it, I Rest was just, peace to my mother. yes, I, I was her. just like, wow. And, yeah. you know, I just, sometimes we just don't understand the decisions that our parents have to make, why yes. they did what they did. Yes. Um, but what we have to do is we have to be at a place where we can forgive in order for us to move forward. Thank God you were able to forgive yes. what had happened to you yes. because you had no um, choice in the matter. Yes. This is just how it it happened to you. Yes. Thank God you had the ability God gave you the ability to be able to forgive and then from there to get healing yes. um, when when devastating um, um, Things happen in your life come in your life trauma come in your life Sometimes yes. you need to seek out help yes. <laughs> You got to yes. seek out help professional help sometimes yes. and sometimes more than just professional help in order to move forward. So yes. um, that's one of the applications that I pulled from that, seeking help, not being comfortable with where you were at, not being comfortable with that life of crime, the life of the streets, the life of drugs and violence, and to see that there was something greater in you. Yes, God and, saw it. Yes. He's seen the future. And you know, a lot of times we miss out on the tools that God give us because it's in the form of our needs instead of our wants. Mm -hmm. And so we lose out on the blessing. I lost out on the blessing many times because it's already written with God. So God already seen this. I didn't see this 17 years ago mm -hmm. when I was out there in the streets. I didn't, but God seen it and it's like, yo, if you don't take these tools right. that I'm giving you, you know, you're not gonna make it to the blessing. That's I right. can't keep saving you, you know what I mean? You gotta I, save yourself. I can, now. but you gotta do some work. That's right. Or else, you know, you're gonna perish from the flesh here, man, you know what I mean, right. the wrong way, you know what I mean, not making right with yourself or God, so, and I understand my mother, I had went through her same journey, you know, God, I was so, you know, angry at her that God took me through her journey to understand the lifestyle that she lived, and I lived the same life, I just got a chance to live past 28, she didn't, right. you know, so God right. took me through that same phase for us, though, the drug life, and thought I had a, a, a child at 16 and I did all the same same story mm. I went through and, and didn't understand it then until now to wow. 2005 when I got saved you know surrendered to God and, uh, wow and, and look it's a blessing but yes it is and it's, there's it's real. <laughs> it is and there's stories there's applications and all of what you said and um I just think, yeah, God knows all things. He knows the beginning and the end. He created you. He knew the purpose, your purpose. However, we have choices because we free will agents. We have choices and sometimes we don't make the right choice. But thank God for second chances. Thank God for giving us and allowing us the, the opportunity to have a self, yeah, second chance to make better choices and then come back around and do what he has called us to do. So I thank you. Hi, this is Melissa Johnson of Wow Ministries with the Brilliant Black Show, the Brilliant Black Man Show on today with my special guest, Marlon Reed. Hello, Mr. Reed. Yes, how you doing, Ms. Johnson? I'm excellent. Welcome to the show. Oh. This is our part two of the wonderful interview with this great, I would say, book writer, <laughs> now film <laughs> producer. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Who knows what, what is to come? Yes. So I would like to welcome Mr. Marlon Reed to the Brilliant Black Man Show. Welcome to the Brilliant Black Man Show, created to bring to light the success stories of black men all around the world. It is the mission and goal of Melissa Johnson to share these incredible, talented, and successful men with viewers across the country. 
Wake up, America, and listen to the interviews of these strong black men who are making a difference in their family, community, boardroom, and the world. They are building empires and leaving a legacy. Their life story and success matters, and it's Melissa's goal to change the narrative of how the black man is portrayed in the media, streets, home, workplace, and beyond. Join Melissa on a journey to bring awareness to the brilliance of the black man. Follow the interviews as these men speak on the importance of entrepreneurship, education, financial literacy, legacy building, and building black businesses within their communities. Now, here is your host. Welcome back to the Brilliant Black Man Show. This is Melissa Johnson, your host of WOW Ministries. And my guest today is none other than Mr. Marlon Reed from Marlon Reed Production. Welcome again to the show. Thank you. Thank you again, uh, Brilliant Black Man uh, fans and viewers. Thanks for having me. And thank you, uh, Miss Melissa Johnson, for you know having me on your show as well. Honored. Well, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to bring um, your story, your success um, to the world. So I'm just so excited about um, the interview on today. We started this interview a couple of weeks ago on set at the Diary of a Changed Man. It yes. was actually filming. Um, and so we started it. We did something a little different. Um, we were on set there and um, it was a blessing to meet the producer of the show, some of the actors that was portraying um, some of the characters that's in the book of the Diary of a Changed Man, as well yeah. as to see Mr. Marlon Reed in action. Yes, yes. <laughs> behind the camera so yes. it was a privilege for me to get some of that footage so this particular show is just a little different from my other shows um after this tapes we're going to send this all to my production team and we're going to put everything together all of the footage from the um first interview all of the all of the scenes and all of that we took um, and filmed when we were on set, awesome. as well as this interview. And it's going to encompass the whole um, interview for Mr. Marlon Reed. And you will be able awesome. to view that on several platforms. Um, one will be um, my YouTube channel, the Brilliant Black Man YouTube channel. Please click subscribe, like. Also on my website, wildministriesllc.com, wildministriesllc.com, and also on the Transformation Network, Transformation Network, Melissa Walker Johnson, being the talk show host there, and also on Facebook and also on instagram so we're gonna have it everywhere and then wherever podcasts go we're going we're going there so it's going to actually view in over 164 outlets it's going everywhere and so we pray that someone will be encouraged uplifted by your story by your success. so let's get started are you ready mr reed Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to show God glory through my story. All right. Amen. All right. Let's get started. We're going to talk a little bit about the beginning of who this man is, Marlon Reed. Let's talk about um, the beginning. Yeah. We know that you are currently um, a husband. You're currently a father. Yes. Um, yeah. You're currently a man of God. You hold so many different roles. I would yeah. like to go back and see how this brilliant man was cultivated. Um, your story starts out a li little different than most stories, um, but it's it's amazing as you look at the different men and i'm going biblical on you i'm sorry the different men in i no, i'm not sorry the different men in the bible um that god used a lot of them or most of them didn't have the best you know story in the beginning i mean they were not perfect men well we know no yes. one is perfect but their story um was not a common story he used um 
he used people that had, can I say, um, not so good history. He used he used um, ordinary yeah. he used ordinary people that had issues. Yeah. Ordinary people yeah. that may not have was born the with the silver spoon in their mouth, or what may not have had the advantages of other people. Um, yeah. He didn't use necessarily successful people. He no. Used ordinary, ordinary people, and they yeah. became extraordinary. He used ordinary Amen. people, and they became extraordinary, and they did just amazing things to build up the kingdom of God. And when I think about the men in the um, biblical stories, I think about you and how you were born and and how you conceived and then how you came into this world um it was a little different but how yeah. god at the end of the story because we know the end of the story how god used all of that to create this wonderful man um that yes. you are today this man of god that is spreading um this word all around through his life experiences and yes. that is a testimony to itself that you don't have to stay where you're at um there there is change that can take place in your life if you yes. want, if you want to change yes. You can change, you can be transformed and allow all of those bad experiences mixed in with the good to work together, yes. mixed in together yes. to work for your good. And yes. so sometimes the story may not be good. I'm sure at times you wondered, why me? Why is this my yes. story? Yes. As you sit here now and you can think at this mature state that you're in now, you can say, well, it all worked together for my good. It may not have been good. That journey may not have been good, but some somehow God was able to take all of my experiences and work them together for my good, for his glory, that yes. I can reach more people with my story because i am able to touch them maybe where some may not be able to touch yes. them okay so i'm talking too much now let's start at the beginning marlon um with how you were conceived and what happened after that and um you don't have to give us every detail just the most important parts that you would like to share marlon reed okay uh, thanks once again to the Brilliant Black Man Show for having me on. And thank you once again, Miss Melissa Johnson, um, to be able to, you know, tell God's story, uh, be able to tell my story and show God's glory. Um, it all started with me being conceived. My mother slept with her um, sister, uh, if you say baby five or boyfriend, and you know, that's how I was Steve, and he already had two children by, you know, my aunt. So, you know, that make us cousins and brothers all at the same time. And, you know, she was young and she was on drugs, you know, at, at an early age and um, uh, having me at 17 and out there running the streets and being wild. So she gave me to my grandparents and, you know, they took me on and, and, and raised me and, um, but it always was a constant battle with her and them um, because she's still saying I was her son. So she can, you know, come and take me whenever she wants to. So that was like a always constant battle with her and my grandmother, you know, um, arguing, fighting back and forth. Not physical fighting, but far as though like uh, arguing, you know, back and forth. And it, it, it used to like bother me real bad because... My grandmother say bad things about, you know, my mother and my mother say bad things about her. And, you know, five years later, she had another son and, um, you know, she wound up keeping him. And I used to wonder why you didn't keep me and, you know, and um, just jealousy. And, um, you know, I felt I felt alone and, you know, just out of out of out of the ordinary, man. And um, it was just one thing after another, you know, happening in my life. And uh, to speed it up, you know, uh, around 11 years old, my mother passed away from um, HIV. 
and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a chance to see her. You know, the hospital was fighting back then in 87 not to let me in because I think back then you had to be 14. I was 11. But they let me up to see her for a few minutes. And, you know, later on that that night, she passed away. So I was just like really struck. And um, um, <coughs> I was really struck. And then, you know, at her funeral, the man that I always looked at as my uncle, you know, he stepped up and told me he was my father. And, you know, I wonder why my grandmother used to always cuss him out and tell him he's no good. And I'm like, that's my uncle. He don't have to do nothing for me. You know, you know, he got to do stuff for his children. And then, you know, um, that really devastated me. And, and, and I went I went home after he told me that I went back to my room and I start talking to God.